welcome to another episode of HT Bakers. So this week we're making chocolate drop cookies, and if you don't know what drop no. cookies are, you know those um, sugary um, white cookies that you get from the store like Food Lion with the frosting and sprinkles on them? Mm -hmm. We're gonna make those, but they're gonna be chocolate and they're not gonna have sprinkles. But you can top with sprinkles well, if you want. We'll see if we can find sprinkles, but I don't know if we have any left and we forgot to order some. Whatever. Don't you don't need the sprinkles. The good part is the cookie. Yep, so this recipe will have two parts. We'll have the cookie part and then we will make the chocolate frosting to go on top. So I like this recipe because it is double, double chocolate. All right, so tell them what we will need today, Adeline. This is this is gonna cover the frosting and, frosting and batter, and like like better. it always covers the whole mm -hmm. thing. Oh, and you know if you like our videos, like and subscribe below. There's a little button you click on, little bell that will notify you when once we upload new videos. Yep. Okay. All right. So the ingredients you're gonna need is vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. Um. All-purpose flour, and we're using the King Arthur flour. Yep, it's in it's in the little circle right here. Yep, that's what we have today. Baking soda. I know I normally say eggs, but this recipe you only need a egg. One egg. One egg. It's going the wrong way. Salt. Going to need. Chocolate chips, and we're using the Enjoy Life mini chips because that's all we got. We're going to use the, well, I love them, they're my favorite, that's why we always have them. But that's all we got now. Why do you say that? Like, it's not, these are great chocolate chips. And then, uh, this is going to be for the frosting, we'll use some of those chocolate chips, and then for and the then cookie batter. for the cookie batter, yep. you're going to need dark chocolate. dark chocolate, we're using the whatever this says. Mm -hmm. So it's important that when you pick out whatever dark chocolate, there's lots that don't have any dairy in them, but some of them do. So you need to check your label and make sure that it is dairy free. These it are dairy, dairy free. Allergy. She eats them. Okay. Butter. We need to country crock plant butter because that's what my mom has and it's her favorite brand of butter. Mm -hmm. That's why we have it. Yep. Like these. Going to need powdered sugar and you can guess that this is for the frosting. You already know that. Well, judging by our previous things. Yep. Granulated sugar. And you can, and you're going to need buttermilk. But so, we are dairy free. So yep. our buttermilk, you can just mm -hmm. make butter if you buttermilk if you are dairy free and you want to make this with flax milk and apple cider vinegar. Right, so it's tough for a lot of recipes. Um, they call for buttermilk. Um, this is a good replacement for that. So we've already mixed it up because it needs to sit for about 10, 15 minutes. So we already have ours, but you can go ahead and make yours now. So if you haven't made it, make it now and set it aside. You're gonna need to use one third cup of your flax milk. And this is the good and, part of flax milk. Yep, and one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. You're gonna mix it up and then you're gonna set it aside. And it is going to kind of curdle and separate over time. And that's what you need for that um, buttermilk type texture for your recipe. The gross bumpy thing, which I don't like. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It tastes all It's good fine in a dessert, but not by itself. Well, yeah, I wouldn't recommend drinking it. That would be super gross. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with making our cookie mixture. Woohoo, cookies! All right, so what you're gonna need to start with is that you are gonna have to melt your dark chocolate. So you're gonna use about two ounces. You can use um, semi-sweet baking chocolate. You, we're gonna use dark chocolate bars, but you need approximately two ounces and you're gonna melt those. Just about two ounces. Mm -hmm. If it's a little too much, right. that's okay. A little too little, that's okay. Yep. You can do it the proper way and melt it in a double pot, which means you have one little pot inside of boiling water. Um, I don't want to wait that long and I don't want to dirty up the extra dishes, so we're Neither just going to melt them quickly in the microwave. Mostly I don't want to wait that long. As long as they're soft enough, that's all you really need that they'll mix up. So you're going to melt your chocolate, two ounces as I said, and then you're going to put it together with one cup of sugar, one stick of butter, your buttermilk mixture, which again was one third cup flax milk and one teaspoon of apple cider it's vinegar. It's up there, that's why. Um, you're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla your, and your one egg. 
and you're gonna mix all that together and beat it with a hand mixer. So yep. Done with that. It should look like that. It looks like the mix for a crunch bar, if you know what that is. Mm, so it's smooth. It shouldn't be. It, it's smooth. It's just you see kind of it flung around the side. Yeah, it's supposed to kind of look like it's mixed for the crunch bar, but but it's not. Don't try and make it into a crunch bar. It's not gonna be crunchy. No, and it smells really yummy. Yummy. All right. So what do we forget to tell them to do? For here, I'm going to three seventy. Five degrees. Yep. It's important, do not do it to 350 like you usually do, 375. Yep, uh, so we always forget to tell you that, but yes, preheat to 375. So now you have your um, wet ingredients. You're gonna stir in your flour, your baking soda, and salt. So you're gonna need one and three fourths cup of the flour. Of the flour. And then you will need a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. Baking soda, not powder. Baking soda, not powder. All right. So I have my nice batter. Nice. All right, it's a very sticky batter. We're gonna show you how to now, form it. You do not touch it with your hands. That's like the number one rule with this batter. Do not touch it with your hands. Right, because it's a very sticky batter. It's a drop cookie. So you're not meant to really touch it with your hands drop it with because a it'll get stuck all over your hands. Um, but it's a sticky one and it is gonna make 36 cookies. So keep that in mind as you're kind of going through your batter here so you spread out and make the right size. So it's gonna be about a tablespoon per cookie. So what we're gonna use... I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna get there. We're not okay. there yet. <laughs> you're gonna use just, you know, one of your kind of kitchen tablespoons. Just a spoon. Right. And that will be how you'll measure it out. It's much easier than trying to use like a measuring tablespoon or anything like that. So they are very sticky. So you need your cookie sheets. Um, I covered mine in aluminum foil just because of the way my cookie sheets are. It helps um, take things off. But I'm going to spray them with uh, a cooking spray to help them not stick. And just so to I help. I do recommend um, coating your cookie sheets. And you can use um, the plant butter. Um, or whatever butter. Yeah, if you want. Hey, you sprayed me. Uh, all right. Yeah, I breathed it. <coughs> Don't breathe it. All right, so you're going to take your, and I recommend having two spoons. So I have like a tiny little teaspoon, and then I have my kind of bigger tablespoon. I'm going to show you how to form it. This is my time. Go right? ahead. Go for it. So you're going to take, you're going to just fill it up in your spoon. Not a big scoop, just like a... That's too big. I know. I, it's sticky. That's the problem. Just like a decent regular scoop. I get that size. Like. So massive. This size scoop, not a very big one. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take your cookie sheet. You're going to take your other spoon. Yep. You're going to take it and you're just going to lop it on there. Right. Don't try and make it look like a cookie. This is the same yep. rule for the oatmeal raisin cookies. The link, it, the link is going to be down in the description. Right. They're gonna, they'll spread out, so you don't want to put them too close together. Make sure you spread them out um, so they don't all kind of bake into each other. And then once you, we fill up our cookie sheets, I think, it, I think that one might be a tiny bit too big, but it might take that size, no. Once you fill up your cookie sheet, uh, you're going to bake them for 8 to 10 minutes. Um, it's going to vary a little bit based on your oven. And then once you take them out, you're gonna wanna remove them from the cookie sheet and let them cool on the drying rack. Or an oven rack in. or whatever it's called. Cookie rack. Cookie rack, drying rack. I don't think a drying rack, that's for dishes. <laughs> cookie, whatever right, Not in your dish rack, not in your dish rack. <laughs> off of the hot, don't use that spoon anymore. <laughs> off of the hot uh, oven sheet. Just All right, our cookies are in the oven. They're, they're, so, they're right back there yep. in that oven that you can see just barely back. So back we're there. gonna go ahead and uh, make up our icing recipe real quick. Real quick, we'll see if we yep. can do it in 10 minutes. Great. 
So if you, cookie, if, the, if, the, if, the, if, the, the, if you keep talking, we're never gonna get. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, um, you're gonna need your stove top in a small pan where you're going to melt, um, how many, I always said two tablespoons two of butter. Two tablespoons of butter, so you really don't need a lot. Three fourths of a cup of mini chocolate chips. So we already uh, measured out our mini chocolate chips because we weren't sure. I had an open bag, I wanted to make sure it was enough. Um, so you're yeah. gonna put that together and then you're gonna melt that over um, low heat. So it's just too much butter. And while she's doing that, I'm going to measure out two cups of powdered okay. sugar. So after it's melted, you're gonna mix it together with two cups of powdered sugar. And then you're gonna need to add a little bit of hot water to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And butter. We added it into two cups of powdered sugar. Now it kind of clumps up right away and that reminded me that I forgot one of the important steps is that you need to add three tablespoons of hot, hot water. water. Yes, it has to be hot. Hot, hot, hot. So as you mix it up you're going to see kind of some clumps of um, where the powdered sugar didn't yep. melt in so you just kind of have to. If it is too thin, add more powdered sugar. If it is or too thick, thick Add more hot water. Ours is definitely like ours. The right I think is good consistency. So now we just need to wait for our cookies to finish baking. I'm Three gonna, more minutes. Yep. And we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator until then, so that it um, stays nice and firm. Done. All done baking. We've let them cool down. Um, mostly for us, we never wait that long. But they're mostly cool. Mostly cool. Let them cool all the way. And guess what? I found some sprinkles. He found sprinkles. Thank goodness. Ooh. These would not be the cookies without sprinkles. I mean, right. they would, but they're known for the sprinkles. So we've gotten our um, icing mixture really. out of the refrigerator. Um, again, if it's too thick, you can add a little bit more hot water to it. If it's too thin, add some more powdered sugar. Ours is just right. So now we got, got lucky got that way. The super fun, easy part. Now we're just she's gonna, gonna icing it. She's gonna frost and gonna sprinkle because that's what usually works the fastest right. with us. So we're just gonna. Uh, oh, there's no like shaker with us. And put some icing on top of each one of the cookies. You can get fancy Oops. if you want to. Um, just do whatever you want. This is the part of the baking where you can just make it your own. Right, I mean, you could put it in a pipe bag, but if you remember, um, it's probably like a lot fancier than these cookies typically have. They, I mean, they're not known to be fancy. They're known to be delicious. Right, well, and these are gonna be super duper delicious. I know, they smell, they smell delicious. They kinda smell like yeah. brownies, which I like brownies. All right, so we're gonna ice in all of our cookies. We are done decorating all of our cookies. I so love cookies. You'll see. Yummy chocolate. We got white sprinkles on top of ours. These ball sprinkles do not quite cooperate. I do not recommend using the balls because they That's all we got. rolled everywhere. I kind of figured that out the hard all way. All over the floor. Well, I'm going to taste this but now. The cookie I... itself is very yummy. I didn't. I did not sprinkle this for nothing. I'm taking a bite. Let's take a bite. Let's see. Cheers. Mmm. That is really good. This is the most moist, delicious cookie I've ever so had. see, it's very moist like inside. In the world. Mm -hmm. It's And they're, they're not like undercooked moist. They're like moist they're delicious. Yeah, they're properly cooked. So they're super moist, very chocolatey. The icing on top is really good. I mean, you could eat it without, but I think just like the ones you get in the store, the icing really helps to kind of pop it up. 
So definitely. Yep. If you like this cookie, check out our other cookie recipes. Links down in the description yep. for our mint chocolate chip cookie and our oatmeal raisin sandwich cookies. Yep. And we'll then, explain what those are in those videos. So yeah, you have yeah. to go to the description to figure it out. And you can tell we like cookies because we also have a cookie pie, which we can link there as well. Yep. We and can do that. if you're a chocolate um, fanatic, we have an entire playlist library of all well, the best what? chocolate recipes. Well, we're not going to link those because that's a little bit too much links. Right. But you can find it in Wales. <laughs> that's like all of our desserts. Yeah, we have a, no, not all of them. But no, we have mostly those with chocolate. So like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below. Um, and we're going to eat our cookies and probably Yummy. way too many cookies today. And we will see you all later. Bye. Bye. Next